Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of my Forza Horizon online series. What I've got for you today, apart from this epic rolling jump which I got when I was messing around with a few mates, is the best race I've had on Horizon so far. So I was in the veteran playlist with Drakov, and an A-class race was voted. I did what I always do, and chose the car that I use for all my races, the Nissan Skyline, which, as someone did very well to point out in a previous video, has the Need for Speed Underground design on it. So as you can see, I started in second place and get a reasonably good start, although the guy in first pulls away from me quite easily. I then get crowded into the first corner and drop to fifth, but quickly get back up to third by cutting back on the inside. That's not quite good enough though, as I get smashed into by another car which drops me back down. A few first lap mistakes later and I'm pretty much settled in fifth. Now normally, I'd see this as a chance to mount a decent comeback, but in this race I didn't really have that opportunity, since I just didn't have the car to do it. You might have been surprised that I was crowded going into the first corner, given how far away the other cars were after the start, but that's the reason I've entitled this video, Being the Underdog. To explain further, I have the same car in all my races no matter what the class, and just have different upgrades for it depending on the class I'm racing. But all the upgrades I do have on it are tailored to cornering rather than outright speed. That's pretty much how I've always preferred to have my cars, and I'm more than happy to sacrifice top speed for cornering, as I feel that I'm good enough to make up more time in the corners than I lose on the straights. But unfortunately sometimes that just doesn't work, when the track doesn't suit your car. As you've seen, this track is full of long straights where top speed wins all the time. There are two tight right-handers, one wider left-hander, and a little left-right kink, but that's about it when it comes to corners in which you need to actually have any skill to get around. The rest are all pretty much not worth considering, as they can be taken at full speed. And then when you get to the start-finish straight, you're presented with a huge length of road where top speed dominates. So at the end of the first lap, as I noticed all four cars in front of me pull away when we got to the straight, I realised quite quickly that I was the underdog. My car wasn't going to be able to match the others, and even though I caught up to them by quite a margin in the corners, there simply weren't enough of them to make up the time lost on the straights. It's obviously really frustrating to be in this position, as you feel that you'd be able to do much better with equal machinery. But when you're being the underdog, all you can do is drive to your strengths and see where you end up, taking advantage of anything you can. In a way, it's kind of the price you pay for using your favourite car. Now I love the Skyline, especially with the design I have on it, which is why I use it no matter what the class. And although the upgrades I have on it do make it competitive, it's never going to be able to just go into any race and dominate. It's always going to be susceptible to the type of track I'm racing on, especially with the way I like my cars set up. But taking advantage of anything you can is exactly what I did in the last part of the second lap. It was clear to me after that that I'm better than these guys under braking and cornering, since I went from 5th to 2nd in one section of the lap which is pretty much only corners. The only problem is that after that comes the long straight, and I simply get re-overtaken by cars with higher top speeds. Again, this highlights the frustration you feel as an underdog in a race. You use your driving skills to put some nice passing moves on other cars in technical sections of the track, only for it to mean nothing when you get re-overtaken easily on a straight, which requires no skill at all. However, by taking a defensive line into the first corner, I was at least able to hold on to third place, and as the two guys in front of me started to once again drive away on the long stretches of road, I was just focusing on keeping that position. It was reasonably easy to do that initially as the two guys behind me were fighting between themselves, but eventually their top speed once again starts to put me under pressure. But then, as we move into the last half of the final lap, it all kicks off, and I'll leave you to watch what happens. So the leader makes a big mistake under braking, 
probably because he doesn't have the skill to handle his car, and I get caught out behind the car in front of me braking far too early himself. We both get through the corner though in first and second positions, and I realise that I only have one chance to get in front during the last section of corners. I take full advantage of my chance though with a nice cutback overtaking move, and get enough of a gap from the speed I carry through that section to keep him behind me until the finish line. And that's the end of the race. It was a great against the odds win which I felt I deserved, and it had an action packed climax, making it my best race so far. So remember that the next time you're the underdog, either because of your car or something else, keep pushing until the end. You never know what's around the next corner. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.